This week, learn how to get all of the latest observations from the National Data Buoy Center and plot them on a map using Cartapi. Welcome to another MetPy Monday. I'm John Lehman, a software engineer at Unidata. On this week's MetPy Monday, I want to expand on what we did last week talking to the National Data Buoy Center, simple web service using Siphon. So last week, we were able to get time series for an individual buoy of many different data types. Today, we're going to get the latest observations from all of the buoys. This is a file that the NDBC updates about once every five minutes, though many of the buoys that we'll be looking at only update every 15, 30, or 60 minutes. So we'll get the data, we'll do some pandas filtering, and then we'll plot it on a map using Cartapi. The first thing that we're gonna to need to do, of course, are some imports. The first thing that we'll import the Cartapi coordinate reference system as CCRS, as is convention. Going to import Cartapi.feature as C feature and import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. Then we're also going to from siphon simple web service dot ndbc import ndbc. And then of course we'll use our matplotlib inline magic. And we need to make sure that we have that spelled correctly. There we go. Now, remember we get these warnings that are coming from other places in the ecosystem right now. They're fine. Now we need to get the data. This is just a one-liner. NDBC dot latest observations. Remember a tab there will save you some typing. We'll open and close parentheses. And this is gonna return a pandas data frame so we'll see what's in that data frame with df.head. So now if we look at what we've got here, we have generally the atmospheric parameters that we would expect, as well as things like water temperature. So now we need to make a map. I'm gonna make a map specifically of water temperature. So there are a lot of records in this latest observations table. In fact, if we change head, tail, we see there are 805 records here. I'm going to go ahead and drop all of the observations that do not have water temperature. So the way we do that is by df dot drop in a for drop not a number. The subset that I want is anything that does not have water temperature. And then I'm going to say in place equals true to avoid having to reassign df equals. Okay, so now that's done. Now we have gotten rid of all the observations that do not have water temperature in them. So now we need to go ahead and start making our map. The first thing we need to do is settle on a projection. In this case, I have chosen to use the Lambert conformal projection. You could use whatever projection you wish if you want to use Mercator or Robinson, or any of the projections that are available in Cartapi. So I'm going to say proj equals ccrs dot Lambert conformal. And if you forget what parameters this uh, particular projection takes, you can always hit shift tab. And we can see in this case, I'm going to provide a central latitude, a central longitude, and some standard parallels. So my central latitude is going to be 45. My central longitude is going to be minus 100. And my standard parallels are going to be 30 and 60. Now I need to make a figure. I'm going to go ahead and run that cell. There we go, fig is plot.figure. I'm going to go ahead and make this a 17 by 11 figure, so a rather large one. I'm 
get an axes object. We're going to specify that our projection is proj that we just made. I'm going to add coastlines. And in this case, I'm going to use the 1 to 50 million resolution. And I want them to be plotted as a black outline. Then we'll add a feature. And we will use cfeature.ocean. And I'm going to use the with scale method here, which we've talked about in previous MetPy Mondays, again, to get the 1 to 50 million resolution. And we will add land. Same story. Okay, I'm going to set some map bounds using set extent. I'm going to specify these not in projected coordinates, because I don't happen to know the Lambert conformal coordinates for my map bounds, but I do know the Latin lawns, which would be Plat Gris. So in this case, I'm going to go from minus 125 to minus 115 longitude and 30 to 50 latitude. And I need to specify that this is Plat Curry. Now we're finally ready to plot some data. I'm going to scatter longitude, it's my x coordinate. Latitude is my y coordinate. I want them colored by water temperature. And the default color map of Virtus will be fine for this. And again, since those are latitude and longitudes, I need to specify that my transform is plat gris, that they are not in projected coordinates. And if we run that, it's going to take just a little bit because I'm requesting such high resolution features that the plotting just is going to take a little bit to happen. We're also plotting a lot of data points that we're then uh, not showing because I'm setting the extent. So we could do some more filtering on the data and so on to not have to plot all of those points if we wanted to speed this up a little bit. Okay, now we've got our plot. And you can see there are a few inland buoys that are on rivers and other bodies of water. Most of them are out here in the ocean along the coast. So we're looking at the California coast here, and you can see, as you would expect, there is a temperature gradient from warm to cooler waters as we go from low to high latitudes. We could, of course, dress this map up some, change color tables, change markers, plot other data, but this should give you an idea how to get the latest data and make a map with it to see what the state of the oceans are right now. I hope that you found this useful, and I'll see you on next week's MetPy Monday.